94% of buyers, where are they looking? They look online, right? They look online for houses. They look online. Uh, I think the percentage is even uh, lower than that when they're looking for products, merchandise to buy, right? I think it's a uh, place an ad with your local arena sports venue. Yeah, place an ad with those guys. They're always looking. You know, even the schools, uh, always looking for banners to support the kids. Uh, social media is like, you know, it's like turned up in 2019, it's going to be. It really is. Individuals are, are, are capturing the opportunity on social media, LinkedIn, Realtor.com, Mobile.com, Snapchat, right, Pinterest. Individuals are really capturing on that, and they say it. Uh, to 2021, individuals are going to, the majority of them, are over 50% are going to be using videos to express their communication, right? Some of you guys are shaking your head right now, you know what I'm talking about. They're going to use videos, and that's why we have all these apps now where you can use video. Right? That's why you see these commercials where uh, uh, Beth was talking to Electro or whatever that person's name is and turns off the radio, right? And you can see their person in front and in the back, right? I mean, it, it is, technology is just taking over. It really is. Uh, as for a smart tomorrow, you know, the radio stations, the newsrooms, the radio station, you can call your local radio stations and ask them for, you know, they have spots you can say, I would like to share some information without even paying. All right? KC24 News, you can call them up even. Or, the reason I put that down there is, majority of the time they call me and ask for some advice or ask for a piece of where the market's going. And that's an opportunity for me to share that with clients who can see me on the news. Fresno B. When I had my own uh, real estate company, one day what I did, I went down to the Fresno B. I went down to the Fresno B and I talked to the reporter. Uh, you had to go through security, right? So I'm uh, a briefcase and professional, and you know that she thinks of another reporter would have case with me. She said, "Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll get him." It was uh, the reporter was uh, she left? Uh, excuse me, he left. He, he had the last name, but it was hard to pronounce. But now we have a new, of course. Uh, Real, uh, real estate professor will be writer now. She's been on board for the last few years now. But uh, my point being was, I went there and I said, you know what? I want to share some different marketing techniques about a smaller company where they manage the disadvantage. And, you know, I was there maybe about an hour, 45 minutes an hour. Uh, one week passed by, a couple days passed by, two weeks passed by. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And then, Three weeks before you even know it, I get a small little article in there, a small little article, and he puts my name, he misspells the company. But the point being was, I went out on a limb, right? I went out there, right, to try to generate some activity, right? Someone maybe saw me in an article and said, hey, I read your article. Uh, I want to inquire a little bit more, right? All it is is, all I'm sure with these, how to generate, you know, other activities you can be doing to generate leads. I was over there this morning. I was at my barber before I came here, so I got, I'm gonna look good for the camera. Yeah, I go to a barber, believe me or not. And I bought a box of donuts. And on there, I just put, you know, put like some business cards all over the place there. And then, uh, and then customers came in, and you know, the customers I, I know. And he says, hey, Gary, how you been? How's, how's the market, how's the business? We start talking. And I said, you know what? I see this property over here, it may be interesting to you. So I sent it to him. I said, well, let's make a verbal offer with the seller. Maybe we'll put something together. We, we don't know. But that's a, I'm generating a lead, right? A conversation because, once again, the universe needs donuts. <laughs> More than 50, 40, 46 percent of Americans will check their smartphone before getting out of bed. I know you guys read that. 46 percent of Americans will. Look at their phone before we get out of bed. Uh, you know that's so much we do on our on our head. So much we do on our, our smartphone. So much that we do that can benefit us from the smartphone, right? In our industry, there's so much that's been helpful for us in our smartphone. So what I'm saying, take advantage of that. And, and I know one individual with a smartphone. He has like a little character. He but whenever he goes communicates back and forth, has a little character in it, and it says, hey, it's me, but it's a character 
face of him. So therefore, that is an impression that not a lot of individuals doing our industry make these one or two percent are doing it, right? That would generate conversation. That would generate leads. 